Hello and welcome back. Uh, let's see now. After last time, when, uh, let's see, what was I doing last time? Last time I was trying to get this working, the redstone furnace. Now, I figured out what I needed to do, but basically what I needed to do was build a steam dynamo, which is a thermal expansion version of the engines, which apparently is what it needs now. I mean, in the previous versions, you could use, like, the Buildcraft power, the Buildcraft engines to run these. It was compatible, but unfortunately, it does not look like that is the case anymore. So I was forced to build a uh, steam dynamo, which is one of these. Fairly simple to make, just a bunch of copper, copper gears, and uh, like that. And a... Uh, silver, redstone, stuff like that. Fairly simple to make, and the way it works is it runs on steam. You need to have charcoal in it, like this, along with water, which you can just uh, bucket into it, just like that. Now, I believe you should be able to use pipes and stuff like that to keep a constant supply of water into it. So, it basically works just like the uh, steam engine used to. And, as you can see, it runs a lot faster than a standard furnace would. It's just pumping out that cobblestone into st normal stone. And, the, I, you probably already know how these work, but let me go through it one quick, try, one quick time. Now, the thermal expansion machines have an interface right here where you, which you can configure. And you can turn various sides, different colors. Now as you can see, there's no, no colors on top or anything, but if I click on here, the blue square here corresponds with the input here. This is the where stuff goes into. But if I turn it orange, this side turns orange, and the orange is the output. This is what stuff is made. This is the uh, square where the stuff is made and it gets sent through this side because this side is orange and it gets put automatically in this chest which is very nice because it means you don't have to, you don't need to have pipes or anything like that to pull stuff out of this and you don't need redstone engines or build craft pipes to pull it out. You can just have a chest right next to it and it'll automatically dump all of its everything that gets made into it, which is very nice. So yeah, I've got a nice fast. Look how fast this thing's going. It's nearly full on power, and this this uh dynamo down here is maintaining uh 31,000 RF redstone flux energy constant. So it should be more than enough to keep this running and going. But for now, I don't really need to smelt anything. I'm just going to turn that off. And it doesn't really eat through charcoal that much, or that fast. So it's, uh, it's a lot faster, but I'm not really sure how much more efficient it is. I haven't really looked at it, but yeah. Anyway, um, that's enough about that. I'm going to have to build a few more machines, though, probably because there are just so many of them here. There's redstone furnace, pulverizer. I probably should build a pulverizer at some point, but I think I'll do it off camera since it's just a bunch of micro-crafting to put all of it together. Uh, yeah, sawmill, induction smelt. Ooh, I'm, I am going to need some indu an induction smelter because there's tons of stuff in thermal expansion that I want to get into stuff like tesseracts and in order to make a tesseract I need like hardened glass and to make hardened glass you need an induction smelter obsidian dust which I need a pulverizer to make as well as lead ingots and there's also these which are portable tanks now let me just mouse over it and hit shift so you can see that it holds eight basically 8 MB, which is 8 buckets worth of liquid. And all it takes is a copper ingot and a few pieces of glass. Wait, what? It requires tinkers, cow glass? No, wait, probably not. 
But yeah, uh, it's a portable tank, and if it works the way I think it works, it means I can put bucket stuff into it, pick it up, and it'll maintain its inventory. And there's also bigger versions, which hold 16 buckets worth, 32 buckets worth, and 64. So I think I'm going to make one of these real quick and give it a test run. And there's also bigger versions, which actually need the simpler version. So let's, let's make one of these. I want to see it'll be easier than having to I'll be able to go grab some a bunch of lava and just have it a, a big uh, thing of it up here so let's see I need some copper do I have any spare copper no no copper oh and I think yeah I'm just gonna use this since <laughs> since it's kind of buggy oh and uh, <laughs> my uh, turtle mined up tons and tons of cobblestone so much so that it was kind of overflowing my chest here so I built one of these which is a redwood oak log barrel and barrels are a nice bit of storage single block storage made with quarter logs made with a uh, complete logs in a just like this with a slab just make a bunch of those and the wait, what? Come on, come on. Uh, and the way they work is they can hold a single type of item, in this case cobblestone, up to 64 stacks in just one in a one block thing, which is very nice. But it can only hold one type of item, which kind of sucks. But it holds so many of it, so much of it that uh, it's totally worth it. So let's make one of these little tanks. I want to. I want to try out one of these tanks because oops, uh, need some cover. Here we go. Portable tank. Now I'm going to test that out later, but first I also want to upgrade my wep my uh, hammer because. Um, I managed to find some more. I went down into the mines and got some more lapis. Got a ton of redstone. So I am going to modify my hammer with a bit of lapis to give it um, fortune. L well, luck. Which basically means whenever it breaks a block such as coal or diamonds, it has a chance, very small chance, to give me an extra one. Either it increase the yield from that block. I'm gonna put some luck on it and I'm gonna put some redstone to give it haste, increase its mining speed. And the reason I did it one at a time like that was because I wanted to make sure I got both of them on. So let's fill up as much as we can. Oops, I didn't want to waste an entire block on that. Because as you can see, it's 36 of 50. So I want to put that in. And I have five redstone left that I can put on. You can put up to 50 redstone on it. So I'm putting a full 50 to increase its mining speed completely. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to put an entire eight more blocks of lapis on here just to give it as much luck as possible to increase the chance of extra diamonds, extra coal, and all that kind of stuff. Let's put a full 85. There we go. 85. Dump all the extra stuff in there. There we go. Now, let's see what else is it I've done since the last time. Hmm. Well, as you can see, I've had to, had to add a few more chests and stuff because my storage is full. Oh, I've got just so much crap, especially from that turtle. And speaking of that turtle, um, uh, while he was mining down he accidentally hit a pocket of oil so my 
turtle hole is filled with oil and ooh. Ah! Villager zombie! Die! Ah, crap, crap, come on, fire! Oh, no! <laughs> uh, but yeah, my turtle hole is filled with oil, and that's a good thing and a bad thing because... A good thing, because I'm going to need oil if I ever plan to get back up on the moon, and a bad thing because I have to pump it down out of... <laughs> I have to pump it out of there! Because I had to swim down... Whoop! Uh... Didn't I just kill you? Ow. Ow. And a bad thing because I had to swim down there and retrieve my turtle when he got stuck. Because he ran out of fuel. So yeah, Oop. I'll probably have to build a pump of some type and pump all that oil out of there. Maybe into one of these tanks. And yeah. Also, I did a bit more work on my house. It's not complete yet. I added some of these, which are a uh, ornate quarried stone and the uh, etched quarried stone. It's just uh, different versions of the basic quarried blocks. You can craft them in the crafting menu and stuff. And this is just a uh, etched quarried stone, which looks nice. I I changed it up because I like the way it looks, and I just wanted to break up the simple fitted blocks, fitted quarried stone. But yeah, I think it turns out okay. And I also started working on the second floor. I finished up this half of the building. I did run out of glass, though. I need to get a few block, few pieces more. But yeah, I finished up this half of the this half of the house. Well, except for this part. I still haven't figured out how I want to do the roof right here. If I want it to move into the top or not. But yeah, I've got the second floor started right here. I'm going to have it have two big rooms on either side. I think this is going to be, like I think I've mentioned before, this is going to be my storage room, which is going to be the opposite side of my work area, which I think I'm going to have all my machines and stuff in here, just in case, because... There is sometimes bugs that just pop up randomly with machines, which force them to reset <laughs> an entire chunk to keep them from crashing the server. And having your machines as well as your storage area in the same chunk is not always the best idea. So I'm going to have my machines in one chunk and on all my storage over here. Which does mean I'm going to have to figure out how to do the piping. So I can pipe all the produced stuff that I make with my machines automatically into my storage and have it sorted and everything. But yeah, I can do that later. In fact, I might do that off camera once I am done. Because this place is more or less set up. I mean, except for the second floor and this, uh, these areas here. I started with something like this. Uh, I might have glass or something right here. But yeah, this is the basic idea of what I'm going to have. But yeah, I might just start moving my stuff over once I'm done recording today. Because I have enough of this building set up so uh, mobs and stuff won't spawn in here or get in here. So it should be safe enough to start putting my machines, because I am running out of space in that crappy little hole in the wall. Oh yeah, I am completely out of space, and I really do need more area to work in. So starting moving over while it's still under construction might not be such a bad idea. But yeah, let's go test out this tank, because I definitely need more lava, and I also need some food. So I don't die. Here we go. Now something else I wanted to do today was I wanted to actually go out and explore. Because I've been trying to do that and trying to do that and explore the surrounding areas. See if I could find anything interesting. See if I could find a village. Uh, a villager village. 
villager, village, villager, village. But <laughs> so I could actually maybe find somebody to trade for emeralds. And I've been putting it off and putting it off, and I actually tried to do it before, but I get, kept getting distracted. So I think I might actually build an airship because the Archimedes mod is in this mod pack, so it could be an interesting thing to do for today. So let's see if I can get the lava. Now, I should be able to just right click like this and pick it up. Does it work? Does that work? No, it doesn't. Uh, so how does this work? Okay, I just... Uh, huh. How do the portable tanks work? Do I need something special to pick them up? Oh, oh, I might actually need a crescent hammer. Because that's right, the crescent hammer might actually be needed because you need them to pick up, like, the, uh, energy cells as well and keep their contents. So that might be what I need to do. So I'm going to go back and make one. 